so today's video is going to be some wow items or some filler items for Operation Christmas Child boxes. So I have been trying to shop now that it's a little safer to shop and everyone, people where I live are really wearing masks pretty well. So I've been going out into the store, still not spending too much time in the store buying non-essentials, but I have started um, buying some more things for my Operation Christmas Child boxes. It is super hot in here right now. It's been hot for weeks here and like that's why my hair's up. I feel like videos look better when I have my hair down but it really is just way too hot but when I have my hair up I feel like it looks like I'm bald or something I don't know so anyway I am going to show you a couple things that I got at the Dollar Tree um so these really are affordable items for you to include not all of these items are um wow items but some of them are filler items some of them could be wow items and we'll just kind of talk through it and decide so also remember to click the subscribe button if you like my videos so that I can hopefully help you with more ideas in the future of Operation, Operation Christmas Child Boxes or just ways to help other people. I will be posting many other videos about those topics and so here we go. So this is something that I found which is a um, like a pool, oh my goodness, what's the word for this? <laughs> it's like um, a beach ball, a beach ball, that's the word for it, my goodness. So it's a beach ball. It is pink and purple. I guess I didn't really pay attention to the color and also they only had this one at the store when I was there. But I thought that this was a great idea. It is super flat. It can be blown up obviously and I'll probably take it out of plastic packaging but I'll leave this cardboard piece around it so that they can see what it's supposed to be and then they can blow it up and have fun with the beach ball. Hopefully they don't like kick it too hard or break it, but really these can be kicked around. They can be played with a lot. Like beach balls actually are a pretty durable item. It's not as hardy as a soccer ball, but I mean, I think this is a pretty good, good item for a dollar and this can include a lot of community play. Children will be able to play with their friends and maybe make some new friends and just kind of play with it in their neighborhood or their community. And include this this will create fun for a lot more than just the one child who gets the box so i really like this and i think i might try to look out for some more beach balls so that i can include them um you can play you know catch you can kick it around you can kids create games they can do anything with that so i really actually like that that's my best item i don't know why i showed it first but anyway then i also found these um, so it's basically a dartboard, which I think I really just thought of it because I got my husband a real dartboard for his birthday last month and I kind of liked it. <laughs> and this is a pretty harmless version of a dartboard. I mean, it's plastic and these, you know, they're not pointy or anything. And yes, the child does need somewhere to be able to hang it, but I feel like the child... I feel like most people have a wall of some sort or like an outdoor to their... They, they live in some type of structure and so you could maybe put it on like the um, outside or you could put it somewhere inside so I mean I think this would be pretty okay item for children to play with and again this is something that could enhance community play they can invite other friends over to play with them and so I did pick up two of these they were only a dollar each I'll decide you know if I'm going to use both of them in boxes this year or things like that but at least I do have it in my giving storage to uh, decide if I'm going to use it this year or next year or whatnot. This does say 6 plus so like maybe 5 to 9 bucks would be okay. 10 to 14 definitely. And then I got these. Now I noticed that the stores have a lot of beach outdoor type toys out right now obviously and I keep looking at them and so many of them are such good items for children but a lot of them wouldn't fit in a shoebox. So basically like a sand pail that's not going to fit in a shoebox unfortunately. Um, and some of the things that you can make sand castles with, like those big structures, you know, the big like plastic things, those are also not going to fit in a shoebox, but I found these. Now, four is kind of a lot, and I think this would take up probably too much space in a shoebox, but I was looking at this, and I think I can probably split it to two and two. So I think I can probably do, um, like the shovel in this like little digging item thing, and then in the next one, I can also do this shovel thing, and then this sifter thing and so I can have these two go in one box and these two go in another box and I think two in a box would be great and I think this would be great for two to four or maybe even five to nine I mean I definitely played with these types of things till I was probably 12 so I did grab two sets of these 
and I, I really like these and I would like to go back to the store and find more of these types of beach items that are small enough to fit inside of a shoebox because I don't know I just like these and kids dig in the sand no matter where they're from like I've seen kids all over <laughs> this country other countries digging in the sand using shovels these are pretty um, I don't know what the word is pretty like universal toys that kids will know what to do with and like and appreciate so these are not wow items but they were only a dollar for all three so it's basically like a plastic baseball it's not a real one I probably wouldn't put this in the older child box but I would probably put this in the younger child box it's just like a nice solid item it's not too small that a child is gonna like put it in their mouth and you can play catch with it I mean you can probably like hit it with a baseball bat or like a stick or uh, like a cricket bat um, you can roll it around, you can throw it, you can play catch. So these items are pretty, for such a small item, it's pretty universal. And it has like pretty much an, an, an unlimited amount of uses or games that can be played with these. So I like these. Now this is just like, it, it looks like a baseball. It's kind of foamy. It's not a softball. It's not a baseball. It's just kind of like a ball to play with. And this kind of goes in the same category as these. Just a ball to play with, something cool something universal and it was only a dollar a yo-yo oops self-explanatory I like putting tops in a lot more than I like putting yo-yos in but I didn't find any good tops but I just think the spinner tops are super cool especially if they light up yes the lighting does kind of wear out after a while but that's okay I also think that yo-yos are pretty universal so I just grabbed one of those there was only one and I'll probably put it in an older child box um, and I'll probably keep an eye out for tops. It's just a small filler item, but I don't know. I like them, and I think it could provide entertainment and maybe some motor skills. And I got two more things when I was at the dollar store. Now, I mentioned in my school video that I posted the other day that I really like the idea of Rubik's Cubes or some kind of basic problem-solving puzzles, and that's why I got those party favors um, for problem-solving puzzles. Now this is a brain teaser puzzle. I don't know exactly what it entails, but it also looks like there's instructions and they don't have words on it, just kind of like arrows and stuff. So I figure I can take this out of the packaging and then include this paper with it so that the child can use it for their brain teaser. And brain teasers honestly like really enhance just a lot of parts of the brain. So I am going to hopefully try to include more of those like thinking game type things. So I really like that, and it's made of wood, so it's not like super cheap plastic. It was only a dollar. And then this is a Jenga game. Um, it was only a dollar. Obviously, it's like a small off-brand version, but I think children are pretty creative. They can figure out what to do with it, and because it's packaged so tightly, I'm just going to put this whole box in there, and they can see on the photos how the game is supposed to be played. Perhaps if, they, if it goes to an English-speaking country, they can read it. If not... Um, the people who distribute the shoeboxes can translate for them, help them play. And this is also something that will encourage them to play with other children or help them play with other children, that they have this game that they can play together. So I thought that was cool. So that's everything that I got at the dollar store. I think it was like 10 items. And I think probably my favorite item, honestly, is the beach ball. And I might try to get some more of those. And then just something that I wanted to throw in here to mention is, I mentioned this in pre previous videos, but I do the Ipsy subscription boxes, not sponsored, but I just noticed that I'm collecting like so many of these. I only get a box every other month, um, and I get the small, smallest one, but I'm collecting so many of these, and you can use these for your shoe boxes to put stuff inside. And for some of the girls, like I get some makeup items that I'm literally never going to use just because it's extra or I kind of already had something very similar that I like. And so I feel like I can include these types of things. That's an eyeshadow. And then even this is a highlighter. And even if the child has like darker skin, then I think it's perfectly okay to use this as a highlighter. Um, per personally, what I use for like you know the edges and whatever it's actually a really dark color so people can use it for different uses I do put my first aid kit stuff in here but I, could, I sometimes also drop like one little makeup thing in there eyeshadows you know you can use that as an eyeshadow and things like that so these are a lot of items that I'm going to be including this year perhaps and just 
And these are some just things that I found at the dollar store that I thought would be great items to include in my boxes this year especially the beach ball and the shovels so I'm really excited to include these items and maybe find more to include in my future boxes and and that's all hope you enjoyed